All right, got a little update. Thought it was important. Uh, it's like the fifth time recording this video. Hopefully, it's not going to stop like last time. But basically, I know what's going on in this circuit now, and I scrapped my uh, tiny run coil, which worked very good. But as you can see, it got a little hot from when I put a car battery to it. Not enough resistance. So now. I'm using an audio transformer, and I always had the uh, the thought that these would work great for a Bedini, and it's true. They they do work great. It's got it's a bifiler, so it's got fat and thin wires on it for a trigger and run already wound on there. So you really don't have to do anything. And another great thing is you see this is in the shape of an E. Um, as I'm learning, a little bit off-center alignment of your trigger and run is going to give a better push. So basically, this, this automatically does that for you. So your, your trigger is going to induct here, and your push is going to come from either here or here, depending on the polarity of your magnets, because this is going to be like north and south. So as the magnet gets close, your core is saturated when it's in the middle then as soon as the magnet passes and leaves opens up the circuit the spike comes out and that's when your run fires which is going to be right around this point which is where you want it to be at so I thought that was pretty cool um, another thing is since I'm not using the second winding on this uh, core right here it's just going to waste so I have it um, just hanging open free right now um, just, I can just demonstrate all the high voltage that's coming out of that. It's enough to light that fluorescent. Just off of the six volts, I thought that was pretty cool. But the difference between this and the other one is this 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 core makes the wheel go a whole hell of a lot faster. And um, the voltage that gets inducted into that trigger and then into that second uh, winding right there is ridiculous. I, I basically shocked the piss out of myself by accidentally touching it. But if anybody has any of these, they work fucking awesome, uh, if you ask me. I'm going to go ahead and try to start this thing. So there it goes. Tell, but it's going a whole lot faster. Now, I'm going to put this to the second winding. You see it lights it nicely. Right. Now, as I adjust the resistance, see that little arc as I change the resistance, you see the little arc that jumps in there. I need to fix that, but you can see the uh, the arc. Gives off a good arc. So yeah. Thought that was pretty cool. Under six volts. 